I'm Joshua Hamlin, the lead primitive skills instructor at Sigma 3 Survival School. I'm out here at the Washita Mountain Range with my buddies Eric and Noah. Eric brought along a bunch of deer legs, so he asked me what we could do with them. I said, how about making a permanent bow drill? That's what this is here. So we're going to make some permanent bow drills. This is something you can carry in your kit and have a bow drill with you wherever you go. And uh, we're going to show you how to make one. So keep watching and we'll get to it. What Eric and Noah are doing right now is skinning and then separating the tendons from the deer legs. All right, what we're going to do now is saw the bone right here. This is the hoof. Saw the bone right here and right here before the joint. What Eric is doing here is cleaning the marrow out of the end of the bones so that we have a place to put our plugs. One plug for the, the blunt end of the bow drill and one plug for the pointed end. Okay, what we've done so far is we've cut our bones, we've cleaned the marrow out, we've squared up the insides as much as possible. Now we need to make plugs. I found a dead standing hickory right here. That'll be a good wood for the top side for the point that goes into our handhold. For the bottom side, we're going to use whatever wood um, we're going to make our bow draw out of. So if we're using yucca, we can make a yucca plug. These plugs are replaceable, interchangeable. So we can, as they wear out, we can replace them. As this top wears out, we can replace it. Antler is another good thing that you can use in the tops. And I think maybe Eric or Noah is going to do that. I'm not sure. But I'm using hickory. So keep watching. Okay, what I've done here is I've... Let me pull this plug out. I carved the end of this piece of wood. This was right here. I carved the end of this to match the inside of the bone so that it fits on there like so. Then I sawed this free from this. Now I gotta do is sharpen this into a point, glue it in with pine resin, and then this side will be done. Keep watching. Okay, so I carved my plug into a point. Now what I need to do is make some pine pitch. And we're in a pine forest, so I gotta go gather up some pine pitch. Uh, when I do, I'll fill this gap with pine pitch, melt it in there, and plug this plug in. To remove this plug at a later date, all I have to do is heat it up and melt that pine pitch and pull this out and put a new one in. Okay, so what I'm doing now is heating up pine pitch. I went out and found some on this pine tree right over here. There's not a lot of it, but enough to do this. I put some in here already. Um, I didn't put enough in and it started hardening before I got it pushed all the way in. So I'm going to have to heat this up until that thins up. And when it thins up and melts again, I'll be able to push it all the way down. Okay, so I got the most of it done. Now we're just going to add a plug. For that I'm going to use this piece of yucca here that I borrowed from my buddy Eric who's holding the camera. And here's how we make a plug. Let me set down the bone for one second. And I'm just going to... I don't want to go too far in. Waste a good piece of yucca. So I'm going to come in this far. I'm just going to kind of point this and kind of square it a little bit on one end. Alright, so, seems to fit into about right there. We 
want it to be in there so tight. So we're going to hammer it down in there. All I got to do that with is the back of my knife right now. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now we're just going to we are just going to make our bottom edge for our bow drill. Hammer that in a little better. Now let me get a bow drill kit ready and we will show you how it's done. All right. So as you can see, it works great for the bow drill. This is the permanent bow drill. Thanks for watching.